Hello friends, I hope you're wearing sunscreen. I'm Colonel Failure and you are watching Totally Tropical Transport Fever 2. And we find ourselves in a location that we've not been to in quite some time. We're back at the freight hub. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I did. Another project that was never quite completed. Well, uh, who'd have thought it? Uh, today we're, uh, we're focusing on distributing the construction materials that we put together last time around. And I'm sure that that distribution is going to go absolutely perfectly. But you won't know unless you continue watching. We are riding on board the Sprawl Transfer, uh, which is the Chinese stone train. And I'm not that the train's made of stone, you understand, it's just, just hauling it. I think you know where I was going with that. Um, yeah, it's on its maiden voyage uh, with 11 whole stone on board. Now, obviously, it's, it's only its maiden voyage, so, uh, so we shouldn't expect too much of it. Um, now, I had missed putting a ship on one of the routes last time around, so I, I've done that. What else have I done? No, I don't think it was bad. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably about it. But in, uh, in wandering around the map, I've come up with an alternative solution uh, to, uh, to actually make this work. And I think you'll agree. It is a rather good solution. Well, okay, I don't, whether you agree or not is largely uh, academic. Uh, the fact of the matter is, I have come up with a solution. Uh, so we're heading out now, down to the sprawl. I, I think we'll ride this the whole way, we might as well. I mean, there's another tunnel, so it's not going to be that scenic. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it, it's going to be worth doing. If we're very lucky, we'll have a plane land over our head while we do this. We won't be that lucky, because we're not that lucky. But, uh, you know, it, it, it'll be what it is. And uh, it'll be great no matter what. So, uh, so there's the little dip in order to allow us to go under the bridge, and then we're going up and over a bridge of our own. This is, it has to be said, something of an uppy downy kind of a route here. Also, I noticed that we're doing 80 kilometers an hour, and I previously said that the Alco does 80 kilometers per hour, so why don't I just use the Alco for this? I'll use the Alco for something. It's too nice a loco to, uh, to leave unused, despite the fact I always use it. Oh, oh ah, I might not use it. No, I've got another idea. Don't worry, it's okay. You'll approve of it in time. Um, so yeah, so the the hope is that uh, the the excessive number of uh, it's just not very good language. Um, the excessive quantity, oh yeah, that's better, of uh, of stone that we deliver out to the uh, the airport will mean that those planes fill up quite quickly. Now, I've looked into whether I can, uh, I can then use the planes to bring construction materials back in this direction. And if I can find something with demand that isn't too far away, then I'll probably do just that, because having those planes earn both ways will make a heck of a lot of money, because it's a really long trip, um, and they're going pretty much in a straight line as well. So the, the likelihood it makes a decent amount of money is actually quite strong, providing I keep the airport topped up with stone. And that's what this train's for. I mean, we're already carrying enough to fill one plane, and we're only on the first go. There's a rock, look. Uh, good, right, okay, so here we come now. We'll, uh, we'll unload presently. Watch the skies. Nothing in the skies at the moment. Uh, but it's okay. It, it'll happen. Right, how much have you made from that? Not a lot, I would imagine. Uh, 177k. Oh, there's a train, look. Uh, okay, well, I mean, it is what it is, uh, and it isn't great, but there you go, so that's nine, oh, 19. Where did the other eight come from? Where did the other eight come from? Maybe I was carrying 19. I was pretty sure I was only carrying 11. Maybe if someone has cut the stone here, uh, in order to make it go a little bit further. Don't know, but anyway, here's the, the ship, and this is, uh, this will also be on its, uh, on its maiden voyage. Uh, but as you can see, the port has got four waiting for it there. I, I would hope that you would go just a little bit faster than that. Please. Otherwise, these trucks aren't going to pay for themselves. They have five. Steady on. Yeah, no, just no, don't overdo it, will you, lads? No. Okay, well, production down here has yet to kick up to a high level. So that's that's going to come down to me, actually, you know, making the magic happen. And that means we need some end delivery. Maybe Miranda is... Uh, no, 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 that's not demand. That's production. Oh, all right. Well, what have we got within eyeball? We're looking for somewhere that wants uh, construction materials. Uh, 
The answer is nowhere. Oh, but we do we do have a port and a, and a rail d d station and and an airport. I mean, you know, we can surely get to somewhere from here. I'm sure we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be. I mean, you're going to be pushing it, whatever you do. Unfortunately, Ganafrey doesn't need it because that would be justifiable. Uh, what about these two? No, those two, no good. Uh, nothing. No, no, nowhere in the southern, uh, the, the the northern hemisphere wants uh, wants anything at all. Neo Tokyo, though, yeah, that's not convenient, isn't it? Okay, well, it, it's actually it, it is actually quite workable. So we could run a ship from here down to Neo Tokyo. Uh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, now show me your your catchment rates because Neo Tokyo has never been connected to anything at all. So uh, so it is it is virginal territory for us to uh, to prosper from. And wouldn't you know it, all the construction stuffs up on the hillside, which means you're going to need a little bit of internal distribution going on there. Which means you're going to need a depot, which is oh just just flipping just all of it well hold on let's let's not uh, let's not write it off yet let's have a look and see what we can get from a bit of connectivity uh so if i were to slap it in there i'm not i'm not actually considering doing so you understand i just want to see what sort of coverage we get actually the coverage from that's pretty strong but you do miss that entire upper hillside over there uh, it is not so good and also this is probably on the wrong side well i mean both sides of the island are pretty awkward uh all right what about this side now if i were to put in a bit of linking road here yes do you know what i might try it will you though i might will you yes all right yeah we're gonna give it a go uh we'll, we'll we'll see what we get out of this uh because you know the, the secret weapon to all of this friends is is just don't think about it too much uh if you go like yeah that might work then it probably won't but uh but you're gonna have a you're gonna have a rare old time figuring that out for yourself oh no the condition of train 47 is terrible oh what a what a shame for train 47 i'd like to say i cared but I don't. Uh, right, okay, come down here. Yeah, okay, and then slap onto here. Anywhere will do. Anywhere at all. Okay, well, apparently that has connectivity using the tendrils. It's not pretty. No, maybe, I, I, I don't know if Neo Tokyo is going to be a project city or not, to be honest. All I'm trying to do right now is just get it a little bit of coverage, uh, or rather a lot of coverage. Oh, you just... Would you like to do that one? No. Would you? Oh. oh. These people who build their cities on top of a flipping hill can just do one. Um, all right. Okay. What else? That's even higher. Oh, very good. Yeah, I, I, I can see that for myself. What about... Oh, I like this. Right. You come through here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, no, these people who build their cities on top of a hillside are flipping legends. Right, let's have a look and see what the coverage is like now. Awful. Oh, I had high hopes, but uh, never mind. It will be sufficient to get it started. Really? Oh, I see you've, you've backed right off making that successful then. Yes, I have. All right, can you get a ship under that bridge? I think you can. But we better check. Yeah, you can. All right. Okay. Let's get this rolling, uh, because this this could end up being just a monster of an earner. Uh, not the uh, not the shipping line I'm about to introduce, but the the airport could end up making an unholy amount of money. So this is going to be uh, Neo Tokyo. Hold on. Wait. 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 Construction. Yeah. Neo Tokyo. All right, grand. Yeah, now then, where's which port do you want to use? Oh no, hold on, we've got a shipyard just there. That'll do. Keep stick with the Schaffhausen. Done. All right, set that onto construction near Tokyo. Right there we go. That's now in motion, and uh, within a minute or two, the uh, uh, the production at the other end will figure out. Ho ho, hang on, we've got a punter, and they'll start shipping stuff. 
And so hopefully my planes will start doing things. Is that, uh, is that the plane we want now? It is. It's carrying nothing. But that's okay. It's not supposed to be carrying anything at the moment. We'll do in a minute. But you can see, I mean, it's doing... Oh, it's only doing 108. If it was doing anything more than that, I'd go, look how slowly it is moving. There you go. This one's more, more realistic. That's doing 331 kilometers an hour. It's a heck of a long way. Uh, this map, for as much as, you know, we are intimately familiar with it now, it is a, it is a big old map, this. And that's, that's a jolly good thing. Right, we're going to have a quick peek down the other end, just so I can show you what's what. Um, and then we shall go to my cunning wheeze uh, that is cunning. Now then, here we are, down here. Yeah, this is a place. And uh, here's where the production happens. And at the moment, it's not really, it's not really doing it. It will, it, it, it will and has. But uh, at the moment, it's, no, it's, it's not that fast because it hasn't got any stone. But incoming, we've got ship 24, which has got 130 stone. That's going to pay nicely. And then also we have uh, ship 25, which has also got 130 stone. That's going to pay nicely as well. And then, if you remember, the original plan was to, uh, to fuel up Alpha Complex and District 12. And I was thinking, okay, well, what if we were to ship it back on those two uh, stone ships? Because you can be relatively certain that when they come back, they will actually have something on board, right? And I thought, oh, yeah, we could ship it back to here. And then what? And then I went, you've only got your freight distribution hub at Zion Transfer. I said it in that tone of voice as well. And, uh, and I went, oh, so on the way back, you stop off at Zion Transfer with a bunch of con mats. Mind blown! Uh, because we've also already got distribution for this, so we've already got Caprica and Ankh-Morpork, which will quite happily soak it up, and we've got Mega City 1 already hooked up as well, because they are all food and conmat desirables. Well, I said to myself, uh, golly, because, uh, you know, I'm a man of few words occasionally, <laughs> that's not true is it um yeah so there we go so uh, we will now uh, add that stop on on the way back and whether it works or not time will tell but it will uh right so arkham south add station uh, and it's a good trip back as well so it should it should make a a, a reasonable wedge uh into there there we go zion south oh, it's exciting isn't it yes it is Okay, right, so there we go. So uh, we'll, we'll drop off here. We'll drop it off for some trains. Now, I'm pretty sure these trains will actually carry this stuff. You know when the right time to, to decide that that was a thing is? Was before you set that up? Yeah, it was before you set that up. Because we've, I mean, we've built a really nice freight hub here. And, and we use it, just not very much. What's going on with you chaps? Nothing. Just hanging out. Why are you just hanging out? You got you got nowhere nowhere better to be. No, I'm, I'm just just hanging out. I think it's because I put some I put some weight till full on some of these because uh, it felt to me like that might be quite cool. But interesting, really. Okay, what what level of weight till full did you put on this? Uh, weight till partially full, five minutes. Okay, all right. I you've got to be quite impressed that I remembered I'd put a weight till full on it. Uh, but uh, all right, you don't have to be, but you should. Uh, okay, so these have got box cars on now. Do the box cars in question actually support the uh, the argument of whatever it is I'm arguing? Uh, you've got twelve box cars on there now. Please tell me you you support conmats, because otherwise I'm going to have to. No, you don't. Uh, it was a. It was a noble and glorious scheme while it lasted. All right, well, look, this train is probably about a million years old, so I'm going to replace it with something less old. And, hold on, where are you going to? Is this Dark City we're talking to here? Hold on, cancel, 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 cancel. This is food de delivery to District 12. Okay, that's the capital city. Yeah. All right, and it's got, I don't know, is that a mogul? It doesn't look it doesn't look especially modern, if you if you ask me. Right, manage the vehicle, uh, replace. It does look like it's a mogul on there, uh, which is, or is it, it's not a Baldwin, surely. 
Uh, I think you'll find it is. Yeah, it's a Baldwin. All right, that's uh, uh, 1871. These were introduced so 70 years ago. And uh, let's, I mean, let's be honest, it has been running even longer than that. Here's a Baldwin, it's not even a mogul. Uh, so the Baldwin does 60 kilometers an hour. Hello. Oh, oh, oh that's tasteful. All right, what's the, uh, it's 450, 129 versus uh, what it's got on there. I'm not even remotely thinking of replacing this with a Baldwin. So it's not quite, <laughs> the, uh, the Alco is not quite as grunty. As uh, as what's on there right now, but you know what? Yeah, it could be fun, couldn't it? All right, okay. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind, you understand, but uh, it is quite fun. Do you want to double it up? Give it a bit more power. What are you talking about? It's got more power than the one you were talking. About. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. All right, okay, fine. So you've got twelve cars on there at the moment. Yes. Is it twelve of these? Yes. Twelve. That would be uh, twelve sevens or uh, eighty six. Uh, so, well, you're going to need some of them anyway, so let's, yeah, 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 84, you can't maths, oh dear, right, so maybe if you drop that back a little, yes, all right, okay, and then find something that will, uh, that will happily look after your con mats for you, and stick, I don't know, four, five, that's four. Yeah. Do you want to do two more? I'd love to. Hold on. What's this 50 kilometer per hour business? These only do 50. Oh, that's no good. No, 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 no. No, we shall at least endeavor to get up to the, the top rolling speed of this beast. Uh, give me give me the latest and greatest. Oh, hold on. What's that? A flat car with sides. Yes. Oh, and they take 12. That'll do nicely. Uh, how many do you want? I don't know. What's that? 24, 36, 48. That'll do it. Right, that's that one done. Now, where are you going? Dark City. So you're going a little bit further. Yes. But I'll tell you what else. Hold on, you've got 175 on board. Why are you still waiting? You could probably... We could get away with you not waiting, you know. Have we got any other... This is the only diesel in the entire package. And uh, and honestly, I mean, you come down here for, for a, a, a late dealer here. Now, oh, these only do 85. Ah, yeah, all right, let's take this Russian. Right, I'm replacing it largely just for the sake of it now, but uh, we, we also still want to get some of the uh, the good stuff on there. So, so you know, that's a good reason. Uh, I'm using flat cars because flat cars are cool rather than state cars. State cars aren't cool. Um Right, one, two, three, four, five. So that's sixty of those, and then if we uh, we get our little box wagon, I think you might have put the wrong box car on the other train. Oh yeah, I did. I did put the wrong box car on there. Yeah, okay. I'm glad you noticed that after you've sent it out into the world. Uh, right, okay. So we have one, two, three, four. And six, uh, is, uh, that enough? Yeah. No, keep going. Yeah, you're using the wrong one. Oh, for... Would you please click accurately? No, you can't bank me. Right, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 120, which is plenty. Right. Okay, good. Now, that, by, by doing that, we have switched on the demands now. Uh, for a couple of things. Actually, Dark City doesn't use it, so that was pretty much redundant, and I'm now wasting money. Uh, this is food distribution to Hub, which we don't need. We want the Caprica line, and we want to double-check on the District 12 deliverer. All right, okay. Oh, no, I think you have actually got the right wagons on there. What are you using? Boxcar. Yeah, but that's the dark red, you see, so that is that is the right one. You managed to somehow actually get that right rather than the wrong. Uh, dark City is over the other side of that hill, and I, <laughs> it also wants con mats. So I, I do appear to have lucked out somewhat there. Um, uh, but Caprica also wants it, and that's that's two towns worth uh, there. So I'm going to, uh, let's replace this, this uh, chap as well. And uh, and then we've we've managed to generate demand where previously there wasn't so much. Uh, do we want to go? No, no, we're going to send quite a lot out that way. 
So let's grab, let's go Russian again. We'll do exactly the same thing as we did last time, which is a mix of American and undeclared wagons. Good. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what this is going to mean is that I will probably need to uh, run a few more ships. But, you know, we'll, we'll get to that. There we are, that's that done. All right, there we go. And there's the little Alco. And it is currently looking after 52 of 70 foot. Which is good. Ah, oh, it's nice. I like it. That's good. I mean, we could do it in a sporty colour, but honestly, it doesn't need to be in a sporty colour. Uh, no, that's that's going to work out just fine. Right, let's have a look and see how this uh, how this watery uh, stone route is going. 122 currently in stock. Where are the ships? That's not it. It's 23 and 24, I think. So you're packing nothing at the moment. Or was it 24 and 25? Ah, there, here comes another one. There's 25. It's got nothing as well. 1.8 million is in its earnings at the moment. And it's probably lost a bit of that uh, because it hasn't earned anything for, for some time. So, uh, so I would say that's going quite nicely. And in the port, oh, flipping it. Look, it's, it's a goer. We're on to a winner, lads. We, oh, flipping it. We really are. Okay, what have we got here? 36 on that one. 45, but declining rapidly on this one. Okay, do we have a... Well, whatever. Um, stone Air. Let's buy a couple more planes for that, shall we? No, that's, that's not how you do that. You go over here, you grab this. Yeah. And then uh, any way you feel is going to be local. Don't want to send them out of Vegas. It's too busy. Arkham. Yeah, what? You mean where we are? Yes, that's a good place to do it. Right, we'll have another eight. Yeah. We're not messing. Uh, right, I get these on stone air. There we are. Because I reckon there's going to be enough stone coming in uh, to warrant this kind of fleet, if not a larger one. And they're now going to be earning in both directions, which means that, you know, it is, frankly, it's payday. Yeah, just, it's non-stop payday. Now, you, if you've uh, been paying any attention at all to the bottom left, or the lower left of the screen, uh, you might need a magnifying glass to see it, uh, you will notice that our account balance is going down really quite fast. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, you know, it's genuinely going down quite quickly. What are we looking at? Last, last year we were 42 million down, but the good news is we spent 52 million on new stuff. So we actually made 10 million quid. This year we're up 4.5 million, 5 million. Okay. Okay, we're all right. Everything's fine here. So you're going to be you're going to be good. You can just relax. Now, do if I were to put a second cargo terminal on here, would it give me more cargo storage? One would imagine that that would be the case. The thing is that I would need to put the cargo terminal next to the one that I've got, I believe. Otherwise, you've got no chance of it. Because if this thing can only hang on to, I don't know, 30 or 40, that does, that does me no favours at all. And, and it, yeah, okay, we've got, I can see some limitations in what we're doing coming up. Meanwhile, here comes a plane that is a million in profit. And remember, it ran the other way empty. Now, when this traffic jam gets out of the way, things will pick up again. But uh, uh, it's going to be quite exciting to see what this earns. There you go. If I could zoom in, well, I can zoom in on the plane, which is super, but I can't make the box any bigger for, for a high drama, profit earning pop up moment. And a survey says. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it had to pay its running costs at the same time. But it looks like 1.4 million. That'd, that'd do it. If I can get the whole fleet earning, and then if it earns in both directions, my goodness me, everything's going to be amazing. Alright, okay. All right, I'm, feeling the, I'm feeling the excitement here. Uh, now, I'm also going to go and buy another couple of ships uh, for this stone route. The thing is, this stone route needs to be up in the tempo a bit. How are we doing here? Shipment, 33 or 400. Yeah. Yes. And there's only 27 waiting there. Ah. Uh, oh, hold on. That's because you've just picked up with a full load. Okay. All right. Okay. 
That's a ferry with 70 people on board. Good work. Uh, this is the next stone line, and it is not going to be running full. Okay, well, you know, give it some, uh, give it some forbearance. I think, if anything, I think what I've probably done is put too many uh, conmat wagons on each of those trains. Like two would probably suffice, um, given the the frequency with which it's going to receive anything at all. But you know, we'll we'll worry about balancing that later on. By which I mean, not now. I apologise for rocking this at high speed at the moment. I'm just just going to try and make sure that we're doing anything even remotely approximately uh, looking like a balanced uh, set of shipments. So we've got 50 conmats here that are waiting to go to, to, go to Neo Tokyo. Is this the Neo Tokyo ship or is this the stone uh, hauler? Where are you going? No, nope, this is the stone hauler. Okay. All right. Well, look, what have we got stone-wise to be hauled? 44. But we now have a fairly frequent procession of planes. Are you bringing? Are you bringing me conmats, there, friend? You are. That's good. Okay, this is, it's working. This is great. Good. Okay. Nice. Now I should probably turn my attention to uh, to to fixing my northern passenger lines, and I think we can do some of that. This is going to be a bit of an odds and sods section. I uh, could probably do some of that by uh, by getting commuting set up. As you can see, we've got the sprawl hooked up reasonably well. But I'm obviously running too many trains. Uh, how many are we running on this? All right, okay, so you've got 35 on board, which is a bizarrely and disappointingly a good number. Uh, Pax clock. You've got eight. Right, uh, sell it. Yeah, bye. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just we'll take one off each route... Uh, and then we should have uh, a greater percentage of the time where they run full. Bye. Good. That's that sorted. Um, that's, that's, that's fixed the first problem there. Well, I say fixed. It's done something to the first problem. Right. Coming into Wakanda. Now, this does have reasonable coverage from the station. And it's got a tram route going on as well. It has. Yeah, I know. You can see it. Look, there you go. Not many people waiting, but some people are waiting, and that's that's what we want to see. Right, what have we got going on here? For your sum, there's nothing waiting on the counter. That's because the counter's just leaving now with 25 of 52. Yeah, it's not enough. Now, much like the uh, the old game, the, the the goal here, of course, is that as the towns get bigger... Uh, this all starts to work a little bit more. Now, here you go. Asgard is a prime candidate for a bit more, uh, a bit more interior transportation. So let's uh, let's do that because uh, because uh, that can only help. So uh, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to actually not tracks as I want. Uh, I want station at side entrance. I don't know why I thought that was tracks, but I did. I was wrong. Uh, right. So if we set ourselves up a bus route on here. Then, uh, then that can work out reasonably. Reasonably something. Okay, good. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you were to stay flat, you'd lose your tendrils. Don't stay flat, man. Stay lumpy. All right, okay, you stay lumpy. And then, oh, I'm liking it. There is a potential here. Now, someone might lose their house uh, through this, but... You've got a bit of collision. Uh, originally, it did want to tunnel there, but if I do... No, wait. One more. And again. And again. Too much slope. Oh, all right. Going to have to do it in multiple parts, by the looks of it. Because uh, this quite neatly solves the getting from one side to the other dilemma that is a regular dilemma. So if we just come out as far as there and then flatten that out. Yeah, you see, that's, that's come up marvellous. All right. And then you just need to connect it up to anything. That? No. Don't remove the big one. The big one is, is quite tasteful. Uh, I think it, it adds a certain amount of value to the town. Oh, oh. All right. Well, all right. Fine. Thanks, AI. The AI went, no, it's all right. We don't need the big one. But I'm not going to charge you for it. 
fine. If that's if that's how you want to roll, uh, that's good. Now we've also got an, an opportunity here to do a, a, a tunnel relatively easily, uh, given that there is a, an embankment to play with. So if I were to go from here to there, and then uh, just it shouldn't take much. It took surprisingly more than I was anticipating, but I'll take it anyway. That's that's close enough. And then we'll just run this out there like it's, you know, it's got a mission that it intends to fulfill. And then something, something like that. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. That's horrible. This is horrible. It's all horrible. But that at least gives us connection relatively easily to uh, to put a, uh, a circuit together. So if we go with buzzes here... And obviously, I always do this, uh, is get your buses running from the uh, from the new bit rather than the old bit, uh, because then the old bit looks at you askew and goes, but why, sir? Uh, what have I done wrong? I don't know why the old bit is posh. Uh, it just is. Uh, right, go around here. Two buildings will be removed. Why? Oh, whatever. Just do it. Uh, slap one of these in as well. Let's give ourselves a bit more building space because I want to stick a bus stop out there, so uh, I'm going to. Uh, right. Is it a bus stop that you mean? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is a commuter route. Good. Just double checking. Yeah, I know. You sometimes think that freight is commuter and, and vice versa, so it's, it's always worth double checking that you're not being a clown. Right. Stick that on there, and then... Ooh, we could go topside. All right, yeah. This looks like it'll work. Uh, right, so, uh, new line, please. Thank you. Right, go, one. Yeah, no, no. You're already off to a poor start. Start here. There you are. Now then, where's uh, where's the next one? And uh, you go here. You're going to show me the route you're taking? Yeah, if you click on the right thing. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, that works. And then that one, and then this one, and then this one. That doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Uh, oh, well, whatever. Right, and then back to here. Yeah, sometimes you just have to accept the wonky route. Well, that's not true. What you should do is you should go back and fix the wonky route such that it is no longer wonky. Uh, what if I were to do a slightly different... I'm going to have another go at it. Just because I, I think I might be able to make this work without it looking hideous. Uh, keep going. There weren't that many. It just wasn't removing them. Right. So from Lower Asg, uh, we then head out to Len... Oh, flipping Yen Chow. Right. That. Yes. Then this. Right. Then that. Ah, see? Now, now we've got something. And then this one. Yeah, that's working. And then this one. Nope, you're still doing a turnaround. All right, then go to Yen Chao again. We're going to turn Yen Chao into the most important stop on the network. Does it do a turnaround? Yes, it does. Oh, don't really? Yeah. Okay. What else? How? Where else? If I put a stop here, I mean, the amount of cannibalization on these stops is severe. Just, just remove Yen Chao and go with that, uh, and it, and it will either work or it won't. You gambled and lost. All right. Uh, then 12th. Then 8th. Then yen. Then done. And it goes Wah! all over the place. And then it will work. Okay. Right. Fine. If you say so. I do say so. And I'm right. Uh, so this is going to be. What's, what the heck is line one? Oh, I see. I created another new line. For no reason at all. Right. This is going to be commuter. Wherever the heck we are, Asgard, commuter, yeah, Asgard. Now, I mean, this is, I mean, we're, what we're clasping the straws here are uh, are to try and get these to, to grow adequately. Now, I can actually get another bit of growth here without too much trouble. What are you? You're a tram depot. That's no help. Um, yeah, by, by simply connecting up to the next town over, uh, we will get a little bit more overall positivity coming out of our population. Look at this nonsense. Why are you doing this? I mean, okay, I, you don't need to explain. I get it. It makes an awful lot of sense. So I'm just going to interrupt here, and we're going to turn this into a uh, into an interstate out in the other direction. 
It's not actually in stakes. It's it's uh, it's two way, but you know it's interstate esque. Hello, auto save. Super to see you. Get out of my way. Right there, you go. We'll head out like that, and then like this. Whoa, there, Nelly. All right, all right. Well, we won't. Maybe we won't do that. Downhill a bit. Evidently, we are at a higher starting point than the end point that we've just reached. Do not even think about building a bridge. Yes, I will pay for the ruddy, expensive embankment that you've decided is a better way to go. Yeah, that's it. No, wait until you hit level. That's it. All right, good. And then uh, on, on sheep shots. And we'll connect up to there. All right, well, that's, I, that's quite an exciting bit of road. It is. What has it done to the tunnel? Nothing good. But that should do the trick anyway. Right, so that will generate a smidge more positivity both in Wakanda and in Asgard. It's, that's a terrible bit of road. Yeah, I know. I'm not pretending it isn't. You are. Uh, and then we will put a, uh, a road depot on here so I can put some buzz on the commuter. Because every time that we stick, I mean, it only takes like five, six, seven passengers at each station more and a non-profitable service starts to become full at every opportunity. So uh, so it's well worth, you know, just taking the time and, and try and get it done. Uh, we'll run with three, please. Right, and we'll stick this on commuter Asgard. There we go. Right. That will now do its thing and hopefully build up the demand there just a little. Uh, right, where's next? Stepford. Now, I don't know, Stepford's already got itself a commuter service, so that's good. And it's being used, so that's good as well. And it's got 250 people who want to go to Wakanda on the Arctic Traveller. That's also good. The only problem with the Arctic Traveller is it's using... The uh, the Hiawatha. Let's uh, let's call them all up here, which obviously is easier said than done. I want to see how much is on each of them. Uh, give me the give me the the line manager, maybe eyeball. There we go. Right. No vehicle manager eyeball. Uh, trains. There we go. No, no, that's 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 a road depot. That's not, there you go, right, this one, yeah, 24 and 27, yeah, and 108, right, that one's actually at capacity, but look at these flaming costs that we're incurring, once again, Hiawatha proving itself to be a chuffing liability, all right, hang on, that's, I don't know, yeah, that, this got one passenger on board, now, I know I've got a bit of cannibalization going on, uh, but these chaps should be massively spread out. And therefore, in fact, where are we going? Hill Valley, Wakanda, Cuesta Valley, uh, Cuesta, uh, Cuesta Vasey, beg your pardon, the Sprawl and Minas Tirith. They're all going to different places. So cannibalization shouldn't really be a factor. What is a factor is that they just suck. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, the running costs are outstripping the... Uh, the, the potential value that you can make from them. Right, we've got a stopper here. Let's see what uh, what kind of pickup we get from this one. Because the one thing that seems obvious is that this line cannot make money as it currently stands. You just made a million quid and you're still in debt. Cheers. You made uh, look like a couple hundred thousand and you're still in debt. Okay, this one. That one made a hundred and... Is that a million or a hundred? That's 127,000. Ooh, steady on. And the debts are just enormous. It is, this is not even funny. It, there, is, there is no humour here at all. This is uh, an economic disaster, and I should definitely consider selling at least one of them. Right, okay, we killed the weakest link. Right, that, that, that should serve as a lesson to the rest of you. Buck your ideas up. All right, there you go, we'll let them get on with it. I mean, theoretically, I mean, if you've got one state, I mean, look at this. We've got 265 flipping people waiting here, but it's just not, because it's got no competition at all, and it's got a port. All right, I don't really need to go into why that works then, do I? No, it works because it's set up properly. Yeah. 
All right, we've also got a commuter service here at Hill Valley, although they are far too close to one another for it to be profitable. Uh, but that said, the Arctic Traveller has still got 171 people waiting to go to Stepford. Couldn't tell you why. They just are. Or, or rather, they want to go in the same direction that Stepford will send them. Now, I think we're missing a trick at the station. We could allow the station to expand a little bit more, and that might, uh, that might make life a bit easier. So let's try that. Uh, yeah. Good. Give me a... No, not country. Country's no good to anybody. Well, not now, anyway. It might be, might be good to you at a, a different point in time, but uh, at this point in time, it's not. Right, sling that in there. Good, yep. Right, and then... I don't know why we've... Did I build this bit of road? It's the sort of thing I do, but I think that's a that's the default bit of road there. So we'll just uh, we'll just hook up onto that. It doesn't matter. We haven't got... I didn't, don't need connectivity to that. It's That's just a thing that I've done. What we're trying to do is encourage a little bit of local uh, participation in housing uh, development and uh, an improvement in this area. so that, Or, in fact, industry. I'll take anything at this point. Anyone at all wants to move in near the station, uh, real estate prices have never been better. Uh, you, can, uh, you can get your hands on some prime near beachfront uh, housing experience and or business premises at a very respectable price of nothing. Just move in, will you? And I promise not to bulldoze you for at least an hour. Right. Let's see how that pans out. We'll leave it alone. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But uh, it's certainly not going to be worse off than it is now. Quest of Early actually looks all right. The, the, the issue we've got here is that for as widely connected as the, uh, as the airport is... It's not really manifesting a, a huge amount. Now, uh, this is one area where I'm... Am I still cannibalizing this? Because I might well be. So if we look at this, stick the eye... The eyeball is on. Right, what's brown? Oh, that's freight. I have... It looks like I have actually killed off the northern line. That's a good thing. Yeah. What aren't you doing? Well, purple... No, dude, those are both freight routes. Okay, what about trams? Oh, hello. Right, so people could very well use a tram to do their mission, but at the same time, why would you? Uh, look, I mean, we've only got... Uh, what have we got? One person waiting for the Northern Line here, but the Northern Line fulfills an important function in that it transports people from the airport out to both, well, these towns and beyond. So, uh, so actually, we can leave that alone because it's absolutely fine. Okay, and that just leaves the xylophone at the end, which is jam-packed full of people. Uh, but no passengers at all. <gasps> all right, that's, that's just weird. Did, he's just left, look. How many on board? 50 on board. Okay, all right, maybe it's all right. So that's, that's that one. Now then, Gallifrey. Oh, he's looking busy. It's flipping heck, it's looking very busy. The umbrella has come into its own. What are we running on here now? We're running the, the Barden still. Uh, okay. And uh, as a line, it is right on the cusp of breaking even. So maybe we can leave that. Now, Gallifrey itself is really not building up much. Which is odd, because it's got quite a, quite a strong amount of connectivity. What size was it originally? Uh, it was a, uh, oh, it was a 65. Okay, so it was a tiny place originally, um, and has started picking up a little bit. So that's okay. Elmore is ruddy enormous. We've already got this set up. That's fine. Uh, Arakeen's set up. Moss Eisley is definitely set up. Gallifrey's good. Miranda should be good. What I've basically done here is a tour of things that I've actually set up. Riverdale was one that was not. Okay, right, we'll do Riverdale, then we will review the cargo situation, then we'll knock it on the head and decide what the next plan is. Okay, right, so if we do this for starters, all right, I think this is the, this is the level of encouragement that will, uh, that will go down a storm. There we go, bulldoze a couple of things and make a little bit more, uh, five buildings will be removed. Yeah, yeah, they will. You're not wrong. Uh, yeah, then we'll, we add just a little bit of incentive for things to build in a more compact fashion. 
Uh, can I get a uh, can I get a road under this bit? Hold on, well not not starting at that angle. You can uh, try from there. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. No. Oh, it's doing that thing where it does want to do it but doesn't want to do it. Okay, go to there. Yeah. All right, grab it the other side. Yeah. No. Oh, that was harsh. Yeah, too flipping right it was. Stop it. I don't want a level crossing. And why will you now not connect up to this road at all? I've done the hard work. All right, okay. Yeah, no. Fur furious wigglage is not accomplishing anything. There we are. Right, good. Do it. No. Uh, right, okay. Have you got another plan? No, I don't. It's going to work. Yes. You just have to do it well. All right, try... Ah, okay, yeah, we could try coming the other way. Yeah, all right, that's good. All right, yeah, and then... Uh, snag it, rip it, tell it not to, hit it. No. Well, the, what I'm doing when I'm clicking it there is I'm holding shift, right, so that it doesn't snap. That's uh, that's snapping off. Uh, there. All right, okay, now approach the problem from the other way. To there. Yeah. Do you think you fooled it? Oh, I've broken it. All right, everybody be calm. Remain calm. It will allow you to interface with it again in a moment once it's got a grip on things. Anytime soon. Now, we only saw autosave recently, so all is definitely not going to be lost. We just need to be patient. When the car starts moving, that you can see in the bottom right there, then we will be back in business. If the car does not start... Wait. If the car does not start moving... It moved a little bit there, but, uh, but not much. Welcome to Crash Observance 2020. Please don't crash. It would be a drag. And if you are going to crash, can you do it soon? Uh, you know, I don't want to sit around here too long waiting for you to just decide, no, that's it, can't be done, Gov. Come on. Come on, let me in. All right, we've still got cursor. That doesn't prove anything, of course. Come on. Come on. There we go. There it is. We can click that. Okay, and then we wait. And then next time it allows the uh, the interactivity from the human here, it should cancel that, and then we can move on. And give this up as a terrible idea. There is another way of doing it, of course. Uh, which is, we put a road in, then we re rebuild the, the, the bridge in afterwards. That's good. I don't think that worked. I don't think that worked. Hey, there we go. See? Patience, friends. That's all it takes. Step away from the computer. Right, leave that alone. That's just got peril written all over it. So, what we'll do instead is we'll, uh, we'll get rid of this. And we'll get rid of that. It's going to go, oh, yeah. And you kind of go, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just, I'm just building some infrastructure. Right. And then we can go around here. Oh, we'll just do, we'll just do that. Nice. If people build out there, it's going to be lovely for them. Good. Do that. Yeah. Give me this uh, rail, please. Yep. With the electricity. And uh, this over to here. Don't build a flipping bridge. It's just oh what is your problem oh my goodness flip me look i know i don't i don't want you to do that which which part are you having difficulty understanding game all of it oh all right okay that's fine it's okay no no no, no. i'm not Danny. i'm sure it's okay i'm gonna make it work it's gonna be great it's gonna be great it's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely great. Because we'll do that. We'll do this. One more. There. Right. It's now going to work. There will be no drama. No crisis. It's just going to go, Oh, yes, sir. I can see clearly what it is that you're trying to do. There you go. Right. And the other side. What are you doing? Come here. Uh, just... Uh, and the other side. Oh, yes. Most efficient indeed. With only the slightest bit of... I mean, every time it rains, this is going to be surfs up, but uh, it's all fine. Have we actually built anything worthwhile yet? No, we haven't. That's 
that's still to come. Right, okay, so we're going to the bus stop and then a couple of bus stops. All right, that's easy enough. Uh, this, yeah, that, yeah, this, yeah. And right about here, that's good. Now, actually, the catchment at Riverdale is pretty much is pretty much 100%, but uh, it's not 100%, so there is still some wiggle room for us to, to make a negligible impact. So if we stick something out here, like that, uh, we'll stick one out by the docks over here, just, just on the off chance. Uh, we'll then come in, we'll zip up this way, and we'll do one that catches the out-of-town crowd uh, before heading over here to catch the really out-of-town crowd. They're going to need a bit of road so we don't have to back up on themselves, on ourselves, on anyone's self, frankly. We'll do a bit of beefy bridge, because, uh, the beefy bridge, beefy road, because uh, every time you can build beefy road, you probably should do. And then... What do you think? One out here? One, about, one, one, one here? Yeah, all right. Okay, if you like. I don't think anyone's going to use it, but go for it. That's the that's the joy of it, is uh, you can just do as you wish. All right, yeah, okay, you can stop this now. I'm not a tourist. Uh, right, get just what? Just why are we still looking at the Arctic Traveler? Oh, never mind. Do this. New line from this one to that one to this. See, someone's moved in already. And the AI's built them a bit of road. Because it's very... Oh, look, we've got loads of people moving in. Oh, excellent. Right, come around here and then back to Riverdale. And then uh, back to Granville and to 7th and to 11th and to Boundary. Good. Right, so this is going to be commuter. Riverdale. Now, as mentioned, it only takes half a dozen passengers extra at each station for those stations to really start paying off. Now, there may also be the opportunity to link this up to the next town by road. Then again, maybe not. I mean, I could snake a road all the way down to Minas Tirith. All right, do it. If you can make this place larger, you should do. Yes, sir, Bob. I shall do that. Okay, right, off we trot. How are you going to lay this in? In a flipping straight line that goes for miles. All right, then. Straight line flipping miles. All right, good. Yeah, people are going to love driving down that. You go like, should we take the train? No. Well, no, why not? Because we're going to take this amazing bit of road. You can go so fast, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, right, can we get under there? Good luck. It's a yes. In fact, we can even do that and push a... You can even push the pillars out of the way. I'm, I'm, I'm trying too hard to make this uh, amenable, but frankly, you can just kind of go, Oi, pillars, no. Do one. Right, point that over there a bit. And then point that over there. Hooray! Right, so that should... I mean, that will cheer up both towns ever so slightly, uh, which might yield a few more bits of population, which might yield a little bit more growth. We're back over 800 million, look. How's it going? Two years ago, 23 million. Good. Last year, 17. Good. This year, 15. Good. Right. We're making an impact. We've still got a problem in terms of the, uh, well, this line particularly being uh, being difficult, but we are getting somewhere. Is that a road depot? Excellent. Uh, right. Buy some vehicles. Twin coach. Three. Four. Four. Okay. St slap this on the Riverdale commuter if you would be so kind. I am so kind. You are indeed. And then we're away. Okay, golden. Hopefully that will have even the slightest impact and then everything will be grand. Right, let's go and have a look and see how we're doing on uh, on overall anything. In fact, let's start off at Neo Tokyo and see if it's received anything ever. There are, I believe, some charts. There we are. We received some a while ago. They are. That's that's the news. So uh, so we've already we've already had a, a very very minor impact going on there. But if we head out to our our distribution area here, I'm not going to call it. It is a hub, but it's not really a hub, in the hubbest of senses. Uh, you've got ten stone on board. How much have we got waiting here now? Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Okay, we're loading a plane at the moment. You are packing nothing. What? No, 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 that's no good. You shouldn't be running empty. 
Oh, well, it is running empty. And then at, uh, at the, the, the docks, we've got 56 waiting. All right. At the docks over there, we've got nine waiting. That's less good. Crikey. I didn't, I didn't think I'd put that many planes in, you know, but uh, obviously I did because the queue is amazingly long. Right. You haven't made any money. I'm going to sell you. Yeah. You feel like you might be one too many. Uh, just by easing it off a bit, we might be able to increase the uh, the profit per unit kind of coefficient, kind of gradient, kind of uh, something or other. Right, let's go and see how we're doing down south, and uh, and then that will probably do us for today. Uh, right, what have you got? 83 is a reasonably good number. Now then, where are we looking? Ship 10, no. 4, no. 14, no. Two, no. Three, no. Twenty-four, yes. A hundred and thirty conmats on board. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, where's the next one? Here it is. Fifty-eight conmats on board. Less good, but still good. Okay, right. Well, it's moving. Is the uh, is the long and the short of it? We've got sixty-five waiting there for it to, for the next lap from those two. Uh, production's at 133. We've got 162 stored. So there's a distribution hole, I would say, in this. Now, if we're desperate, we can always ship it to Metropolis because there's demand there. But it's it's kind of working. And so let's go full circle with this and have a look at the, uh, at the Profitron. The Arctic Traveller is still burning through money. The PAX Tenuous Counter is still burning through money. Uh, PAX Thuel Waterdeep is still... Still empty. All right, I've made an error here somewhere. They will have, they should have done at least one turnaround by now. Uh, right, where are we? We're coming out to Royston, so let's go down to Waterdeep. If there isn't one passenger waiting, then we've got a we've got a serious issue with this route. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look. So here's Upper Waterdeep. Passengers, passengers, no passengers. I think part of the problem is the amount of time that these passengers are having to wait and therefore uh, that they're uh, they're ruining it for all of us. So maybe if I can squeak in an extra passenger terminal, uh, passenger building, no, dock, yes. Would you fit on there? Sort of. Would you fit on here? Yes. All right, yeah, put you on there. All right, a landing, large landing next to it. Where'd it go? It said it wanted it, but, oh, hold on, there we are, it's turned up. It, need, it needed a moment to consider what it was actually doing. So we stick that on there. Go on. Have you considered what you're actually doing? Go on. And that's good. Right, now, if we then switch, I don't know, Pax Waterdeep, I guess. Uh, Pax uh, Thule, Thule Waterdeep. That's at two, and uh, so if we change that over to Terminal 1, then who knows? Because that's now freed up. In fact, that's a terrible idea. We should move this one over to one as well. Right. And then, th I think... No, that's not helped. Oh, I would have thought it would help. All right, well, it's not helped, but it has sort of helped. Good luck parking here, incidentally, because you've got this bit of land in the way, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm in Colonel Failure, friends. Uh, we, we've got very definite progress occurring, um, but we're, we're rapidly approaching the end of this series. Now, I'm going to take us to around 1945-46 for the next episode. We're going we're gonna to finish this series at episode 40. And then I'm assuming that this isn't episode 40. I'm pretty sure it's about 38-ish, maybe 37. Uh, yeah, we're going to finish at 40. And then I shall start an entirely fresh series, but we shall begin... In 1945. No, 1940. Yes. Uh, so that we uh, we continue our journey through time, but on a different map. Anyway, subscribe to make sure you keep up with things, and uh, I'll catch up with you very soon with the next one. Thank you for watching. Cheerio. Right, good. Well, that's working. I mean, it's all set up, and it's definitely working. I mean, we're making plenty of money off all of that stuff. I've got enough planes ships maybe i don't know uh, but uh, but we'll see how we get on with that now a few more trains here and there to plunk down on on goods and and i think uh, i think we can probably say that's good for the goods 
Uh, but what remains to be done is to ensure that every town on the map has some kind of connectivity that makes sure that passengers are dealt with and they get a bit of freight and all of that kind of stuff. Now, as I've mentioned a couple of times, the, the goal here is to get us up to episode 40, mm -hmm. uh, but then leave it, and then we shall return to it in a couple of years' time and wonder what it was that I was thinking when I put it together in the first place. So there's that to look forward to. Anyway, the next series is coming right around the corner, and it's, uh, it should be a belter. Should be. Well, I hope it will be. Otherwise, you know, nobody will watch it. So, uh, so there's that. There. Good. Now I've got I've got nothing more for you today. You can you can push on. <laughs>